Hey, people, Stuart Smith from Stuart Designs. Oh, boy, we've been on the road and stuff, but this this is uh, Demon Acres in Hannibal, New York. Now, I did a whole bunch of shorts, and now I'm just doing a long form or just showing, you know, what it looked like and how things got going. Uh, we did a whole bunch of distressing using cement, paint, and dirt, or like play sand, mixed with insulation, and then, of course, uh, mixing stuff in for hopper gunning and covering over the, the chipboard and all these different areas. We grabbed whatever paint was available, so you'll see through the video, it's multicolored and everything. These are groupings for where we're about to do the bricks with our new little tool that we had. It's worked out really nice. And so we'd have broken out bricks here and there. And um, uh, just um, notice through the video, we're just jumping all over the place. We wait for something to dry, work on that, go work on something else. Here's our cool little tool. Put some cellophane across the goop that we put on the wall and boom, we got cool bricks that are broken out and stuff. And uh, worked out really nice. Cost me about 45 bucks off of Amazon. See that on the cellophane? Oh yeah. Brick, 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 brick. Cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, look. Please uh, subscribe and maybe even think about hitting that super thanks stuff and try to sit there and keep us fed while we sit there and make all these videos. This is the first long form video we've made uh, since the hearse in North Carolina. Here we are making up a bunch of skulls. Zach poured up the skulls, but now I'm making lumps of goo. So we pour the skulls up there and then we pour the, the, foam, the foam around it, goop it up and stuff, and then it turns into a nice little hard thing, pulls right off the plastic, and then we're able to sit there and go and throw them on the walls and then goop around them. Uh, we glue and screw. Uh, then we hit them with um, some spray paint primer to uh, help uh, detract from the mold release. And that helps quite a bit to uh, make them all cool. Then we'll paint them. Here it is on the wall. And then we will hopper gun over the top of them. Um, and that just helps turn them into here, here. We hopper gun these guys here with that cement, sand, and paint stain. And yeah, we were going down to Tractor and Supply and grabbing like town and country paint. He had scrap paints there we used. And the paints are basically just adhesive and really helps with covering over all that chipboard. So at the end, you can't even tell. Here's a bunch of the lump of goos we got done. They turned out really nice. Here's one we made from home. I sculpt these at home and then we make the molds and then bring them onto the job sites. And it works out really nice. Again, while we're waiting for other areas to dry, we're working on this area, jump to that area. Um, <clears throat> I want to say that uh, Doug Sheldon and Kyle and Tim and, and John came down and did a fantastic job from Scare Michigan to build out the tunnels for me. Here you're seeing their build and I'm coming in and gooping it up with insulation and that cement concoction, putting in the skulls and stuff. I want to thank those guys for doing a great job. I am not a builder, I'm a decorator. So they came in and, and did all the hard labor and I just come in to make it look pretty or dirty as one would say. So here we are hopper gunning, getting that stuff on there. And uh, we'll hopper gun and let it run, let it go nasty. And, and then when it's done, it's rock hard. Then we're able to come in and paint. We painted with a light yellow tan to kind of give it that look and then stained it up. And then at the end, we went through and just cobwebbed intermittently all over the place. Really made it cool. Now, I was not able to get any pictures of it fully lit and ready to go. Uh, Terry, he works Monday through Thursday. So I was there a lot by myself. And again, I want to thank Terry and Michelle for being such fantastic hosts. But um, on that point, uh, Terry was going to light it up later on after we were done, so I'm not really sure what it's all going to look like. We're possibly going to go with amber, possibly some greens. Uh, he had some of those strobing red and blue lights and some. Uh, but uh, ultimately, what pictures you're going to see mostly is just of what it is while we, you know, we're working there. And part of the area is it was difficult to light 
uh, in the tunnels there's no actual lights we're working with um, stand lights and stuff so so if you see some of the bad lighting it's, it's my bad people you know I just I, I wish I could have had better lighting but uh, more of the lumps of goo they're ready to go and here we are putting them in the tunnels and going around them and uh, some of you know I, I think I brain myself more times I could tell by, by popping into the walking through there and banging my head into the thing. It was, <laughs> it was quite the project. It was, it was 15 days of death and carnage, but we got it done. That's what we did, you know? So, uh, but here all the gooing and, and that stuff, it just it solidifies rock hard um, with that cement concoction. And you also can use like Duravon 45 or 90, uh, mix that with paint, stain, um, and it works out fantastic. Uh, here we are hop gunning in this room, trying to get it done, multiple colors. But then at the end, we paint it all one color and then goop it up. And then see how that runs up there. Here's some more of the bricking on the sides. Just, you know, over just little sections here and there that just give interest. And, uh, Doug and them did a great job putting the piping in there. I think Terry added some more, and we just went to town. Zach was in another building because it was quite cold out there, and he was thrown down on the skulls. Actually ordered in a couple extra kits to make sure we had enough. So there's, I'd say there's at least almost 200 skulls in the site, a um, 1,000 square feet. So it did really well. Um, then we actually you know, did some, some cobwebbing because there were certain areas where I couldn't get anything to stick. So you just throw some cobwebbing up and then just shoot the, the uh, mortar through the hopper gun onto the cobwebbing and it just worked out fantastic. You know, this is the third tunnel here and we just saw the electrical room. I think the electrical room was my favorite. And, um, you know, ultimately, you know, we had a crematorium. Uh, we did a facade in the front where the, in the back where the um, rat was gonna come out that, uh, John Merck is making and uh, shout out to John Merck for, for referring me for the project really appreciate it and yeah so here it is I mean some of it because of the cold temperatures took days to dry oh these guys right here these are the heads that go in some drop panels that Doug put in and so we poured them up onto a rod that stuck in there so the panel will drop and they'll shoot out it looks pretty cool you'll see at the back of the video if you can watch the end them all painted up ready to go here we are painting. Now that the concoction is dry, we're coming through with a nice little yellowish tan, and that's gonna, you know, just be our backdrop for all our staining and, and uh, distressing before we sit there and do the cobwebbing. And that worked out really nice. So basically, we just continue forth, working all the areas, hopper gunning, some places a little thicker, especially if people will be, you know, fingering it and stuff like that for your less wonderful customers. And uh, got her done up. So really appreciate you guys coming on board. Like and subscribe. Again, if you get that super thanks, throw a little coin in the, in the tip jar. I'd really appreciate that. More videos coming. We're going to go through and just keep on working on this. You're going to see all sorts of things. At the end of the video, you'll see stuff cobwebbed. I'd really appreciate you watching to the end. You can learn something. And, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, this is my 13th year on YouTube. I'd really appreciate you guys throwing down for me. And more coming. We're at Awaken Haunted House right now, throwing down. We'll put another video up there and probably some shorts. And, hey, appreciate your time. You have any questions, concerns, hey, throw me a question comment and uh like and subscribe thanks a lot people you take care